I'm Dr. Benito Rattan and this channel is dedicated to skincare for skin of colour. As you know, I'm a doctor, but I'm also a cosmetic formulator specifically for skin of colour. I know if you've hopefully you've seen a few of my videos and you'll know one scratch, one bite or one burn and we hyperpigment, so we have to be very careful with our skin. Our melanocytes are unforgiving, so those are the cells that produce the pigment melanin. When we irritate the skin, those melanocytes become triggered and then you see hyperpigmentation on your skin. So really this whole channel is dedicated to navigating the skincare world and really just empowering you with better purchasing decisions, not just for yourselves, but also for our children. As you know, none of my videos have ever been sponsored and they will never be sponsored. This is my love letter to my skin of color family. And the reason I want to do this is so that we just have a resource that is unbiased and really just tells us what is best for us and where we should maybe save our money. So today's video has been requested a lot and it is reviewing Eucerin which products I like from the range and which ones I would sidestep. If that sounds good to you, please give me a thumbs up. Let's dive right in. Okay, so the first product that I've reviewed is their ultra sensitive soothing product and it's for sensitive dry skin. So the reason I love this product and I would say to purchase it is because the second ingredient here is squalene. So that's an, a skin identical emollient. So it smooths the skin with no irritation. And the third ingredient and fourth ingredient is glycerin and butylin. So these are humectants and moisturizers. So don't forget humectants are water magnets. So they literally just suck water into the top layer of the epidermis and that plumps up the top layer of skin and that really creates a healing environment for your skin so because this is for sensitive skin i'm presuming your skin is going to feel red uh, it's going to look red it's going to feel sensitive dry might be flaky and that is the opposite of a healing environment for your skin that having a dry skin actually prevents your skin from recovering and repairing we have to have a hydrated epidermis in order to repair the barrier if you have got a damaged skin barrier then i do recommend you watch my video that's dedicated to repairing a damaged skin barrier but from the eucerin range i love this product and i would recommend it the next product i've reviewed for you is eucerin advanced repair i would say avoid this product if you have acne the reason being it's got glycerol steroid in it se which is three out of five on the comedogenic scale and it's got carrageenan in it which is five out of five on the comedogenic scale now you may have noticed that i've changed my pronunciation from commodogenic to comedogenic and the reason being that my father called me up one day after he saw one of my videos and he said what are you talking about commodogenic you sound like you're talking about a dragon so it's comedogenic it's comedogenic Benita. so right it's comedogenic and from now on i will pronounce it the correct way <laughs> Okay, so right, the rest of the ingredients in here are moisturizers, emollients, so it's got glycerin, urea, satiral alcohol, parky butter, and ceramides. So all excellent ingredients and they're going to create a heating environment for your skin so perfect for very dry skin just avoid it if you have acne if you have dry skin please purchase this product i love it the next product i reviewed for you was their calming body wash for dry skin so again i'd avoid it if you have acne the reason being it's got glycine soya oil in it which is three out of five on the comedogenic scale and it's got laureth four which is five out of five on the comedogenic scale but it is excellent for dry skin so it's a very fat formula i love it there's no fragrance in it no essential oils no irritants in it so again if you have dry skin please do buy this product the next product i reviewed for you was a eucerin gentle hydrating cleanser so the surfactants used here are sodium laureth sulfate and cocomidopropyl betaine which are both don't forget cocomidopropyl betaine is a foaming booster so it usually isn't on its own because it's not a very strong surfactant and sodium laureth sulfate is quite a it's also a gentle surfactant so i like that they've combined these two 
because I suppose it is for dry skin. And you know, it's actually really nice when I see the formula actually matches up with what it says in the title. So the title does say gentle hydrating cleanser. And often that isn't the case. Often what it says in the title is really not to what's going on with the ingredients. So um, I'm happy with this. And the only thing I'd say is, actually having said that, it actually doesn't have any humectants in it. So it's probably not going to be that hydrating. It's just not going to be that harsh. So um, yeah, I like to retract that statement because they were a hydrating cleanser. I would say it's a gentle cleanser, not a gentle hydrating cleanser. It doesn't have fragrance in it though. And I would personally buy this product. There probably are better products out there that have got humectants in them, but it's it's okay. I'd probably say, to be honest, if you have dry skin, it's better to go with a micellar gel wash than this, but it's okay. Now, do you remember I told you I was only going to review the best products and I wasn't going to put out any negative energy out there and I wasn't going to, you know, say too much, too many things that I don't like about products. So these are the only products that I liked from the range and these are products that I wanted to feature in this video but for one reason or the other I didn't like the other products. If you think that I've missed a product that you think is should be Dr. V approved can you please write it down below for me and I will investigate for you but I went through quite a few products on the website and these are the ones that are going to be the best for skin of colour and the least irritating. So don't forget to download your free guide the link is down below. I am in the comment section for one hour at the launch of every single video so please do make sure you hit that notification bell. Any other videos you want me to make please can you write it down below Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at the Hyperpigmentation Clinic, Skincare by Dr. V, and don't forget to follow me on TikTok as well, Dr. Marita Ratan. Take care.